I'm going to showcase how to configure TI-LFA. TI-LFA, our topology-independent loop-free alternate, provides link protection in topologies where other fast reroute technologies cannot provide. TI-LFA, along with SR, provides rapid failure repair within sub-50 milliseconds, which is achieved through the use of pre-calculated backup paths that are loop-free and safe until the network conversion process is completed. Before proceeding for configuration, let us check our topology. Our topology looks something like this, which is same as in previous video. We have PE1 and PE2, where PR1 to PR6 has been pre-configured for TILFA. Let us check how to configure TILFA in PE1 and PE2 and show how the backup paths will be calculated. On P1, I will check show route. <clears throat> In show route, you can see there is no backup path. Similarly, in show MPLS forwarding, again in show MPLS forwarding, there is no backup path. So now on P2, I will check show route and show MPLS forwarding. So you can see there is no backup path here also. So what I will do is I will go to router ISIS then on interface gigabit 000. Interface gigabit 00 is connected to PR1 and 0001 is connected to PR5 on P1. Similarly on PE2, interface gigabit 000 is connected to PR2 and interface gigabit 0001 is connected to PR6. Now I will configure fast reroute. Fast reroute TILFA. Power prefix and then fast reroute for prefix TILFA. Similarly, I will configure on gigabit 0001. I will come into configurations. Then we will go to router P2. And router ISIS interface gigabit 000 first read out per prefix TI LFA similarly configure it on gigabit 001. And commit the configurations. Once I have committed the configurations, let us check our show routing table and show MPLS forwarding table. Show route. In show route, <coughs> you can see <coughs> for route 1.1.1.4 we have a backup path. The backup path, the backup path can be identified with an exclamatory mark. Similarly, for 1.1.5 also, we have a backup path, right, with an exclamatory mark. So, now check, show MPLS forwarding. Similarly, in MPLS forwarding table also, you can see a backup path for label 16002. Similarly, for 16003, we have a backup path. So, the backup path can be identified by exclamatory mark. Similarly, on P2, we can check show route and show MPLS forwarding. So 
So you can see here for 16,003 and 16,002 we have a backup path. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching this video.